Hello, everyone. This is Al Fadi, and I want to thank you, as always, uh, for uh, watching uh, this uh, video series and also for your comments and interactions with us today. We're going to continue with our talk concerning the problems with the place, and we're talking about Mecca here. Mm. We have uh, titled this particular episode, Creating a Mecca Meme. And with me here uh, in studio, our dear brother, Dr. Jay Smith, to further explain that to us. Welcome back, Dr. Jay. Yeah, okay. So what do we mean by this? All right, this is kind of a little little bit of a humor side note, you might say. And, and it happened when I was at Speaker's Corner with Hatun Tosh last year, late last year in November. I was in town and I wanted to get up on the ladder with her and uh, we were, I had my famous yellow jacket on that I always have whenever it's winter time. We both got on the ladder and she hadn't been on the ladder for about two years. I hadn't been on the ladder for yeah, about that same time as well. So we were kind of both uh, fresh from having to do that. And we got on the ladder and, and I wanted to go through a number of this material that I'm using right now. I wanted to unpack it to see how the Muslims would respond to it because that's always a great, it's always a great place to really field test your material. And so I remember even getting up on the ladder, had to turn towards me. He says, yeah, I don't agree with you on Mecca. I said, well, okay, that's fine, but just don't say so today. Don't talk about it today. So I was getting up on the ladder and I wanted to go through some of this video. And I was looking for a way of encapsulating what we, the biggest problem with Mecca. One of the biggest problems, how can you do it in just one sentence or with one picture? And that's what a meme is. A meme is a picture. It's usually uh, humorous, a quick way of getting an idea across, uh, just or a little ditty, a little poem, or a little saying, getting it across. So you just need to say that one line, you put it on a sign, and that makes uh, that that make, makes your message, gets your message. Uh, the most famous one is probably uh, Let's Go Brandon. I'm not going to say what that means, but you know, everyone, when you say Let's Go Brandon, you know exactly what that means around the world, especially here in the United States. And so those are the kind of things we're looking for. We're looking for memes, something that will encapsulate what the problem is. So in this case, what's a meme that we could have created? And so I was on the ladder and, and I decided to show some pictures. Let's show you the pictures, what I'm talking about. These are the pictures I showed on the day. If you go back to the slide, let's put them up there. And I put up four pictures. So here they are, one, two, three, and four. These are topographical pictures uh, of Saudi Arabia today. Now, this is Saudi Arabia today. So you see over this one here, there's a little bit of green there because there is fertilization today, but not certainly in the seventh century. But what's the first thing you noticed about all four of these pictures? Go ahead, tell me what you think. Well, I mean, um, at least we're, we're seeing that Mecca and Medina are pointed out to us here. There, I'm put, I put them, point them out to you as well, but where Mecca and Medina are, what do you notice? You mentioned it before in another episode. The distance between them? Not the distance. What do you notice physically? Well, one is actually um, uh, closer to the Red Sea. Okay. Mecca, well, what I notice when I, area. what I notice when I look at them is they're both in the desert. Well, I, mean, yeah, I mean, technically speaking, but Mecca, you can say, is a little closer, you know, uh, to the plain area, basically, between the mountain and the Red Sea. Okay, but they're in a desert, okay? Yeah. This is known as Petrea Deserta. We've talked right. about this. This is one of the first things you notice about Mecca. It's in a desert, surrounded by desert. Uh, you have noticed this. There's just no fertilization, no vegetation, no water anywhere. You've got a real problem here. Mm -hmm. So if they're in a desert, and see, Muslims haven't really talked about this. They've never mentioned this before. So I was on the ladder there with Hatun, trying to persuade her that there is a problem here. And I said, okay, if it's in a desert, what's the first thing you must say? Well, where there's a desert, there's no water. I mean, that's the chances are there is no water or at least springs of water, because if there, there are, you're going to find what we call like springs and you're going to find also oasis and other things around. Okay. It. Is there an oasis? Is there a spring in, in uh, I am America? not aware of that. Of course, uh, I'm, I'm a Muslim can argue with us and say, wait a minute, there is Zamzam. Okay, we're going to talk about Zamzam. Hold, hold on to that. Hold on to that. But I'm that saying, I mean, that's what a Muslim would say. All right. So there's no water there outside of Zamzam. Right. Of course. Did the Zamzam well exist in the seventh century? Well, that's for us to prove that it didn't. We don't even know of any reference to Zamzam until the right. 9th and 10th century, yeah. so much, much later. Nonetheless, so where there is no water, there is no food. Where there is no food, there are no people. Where there are no people, there are no towns. Where there is no town, there's no cities. If there's no cities, there's no civilization. Where there is no civilization, there is no history. It's as simple as that. How long did it take me to do that? Oh, less than uh, 
Five seconds, maybe. Five to six or seven seconds. I didn't time myself, but very right. quickly. Right. That's all you need to say. You need to say it just one time. For the rest of the day, when the Muslims try to come back and try to say, well, this, okay, what about the Zamzam well? I say, hold on a minute. There was no Zamzam well in the 7th century. There's no reference. You can't even show that. Take a look at the well today and you'll see. It's just a small little well, about 30 feet in circumference. You're telling me that this could have fed all the people, but nonetheless, we don't even have reference to it until the 9th century. And even today, the Zamzam well, for, for it to have any water, it has these pipes going into it, all coming from Jeddah, from these desalination plants. All of the Zamzam well that you see all over the world that comes from that well is supplied by desalination plants made by Bechtel Corporation, which is an, an American corporation. It does not come from God, it comes from Bechtel. Now, nonetheless, there is no water. Now, all you need to say, just like Mars, without water, there is no point in even ever going there. So, obviously, what about the trade route? If there is no water, then of course there is no reason to even go in there because you, in order to have a trade route, you need to have water. You need to have vegetation. The camels need to eat. What that means is that any time that anybody comes up in every conversation, this is what we've been doing now. And this is what I'm telling, I'm telling you Muslims, I'm telling those who are working with Muslims, whenever you talk about Mecca or whenever you talk about Muhammad or whenever you talk about the history of Islam or the Quran or the people called Muslims, whenever you bring up those five things that we're asking for, Muslims always default back to the Islamic tradition, the standard Islamic narrative. That is the only narrative they know. That's the only narrative they have, which is the 9th and 10th century. Remind them that's all the 9th and 10th century. But even more of that, not only is that too old, I mean, too far away and too late, too old and too late and too distant, there's no water. But you need to go through this little meme first. Where there is a desert, there's no water. Where there's no water, there's no food. Where there's no food, there's no people. If there's no people, there's no town. When there's no town, there's no cities. Where there's no cities, there's no civilization. Where there's no civilization, once you get no civilization, there is no history. If there's no history, you can see there's a problem for Mecca. After that, once you've said that, every time they bring it up, just say, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's no water there. Prove to me there's water first before we can get on and move on to this. And so you can, these are the kind of things we're looking for. We're looking for these little quick sound bites that help you create an argument. Those who can create arguments like this so quickly, it then puts the onus onto the Muslim. So let's go ahead and let's do this practice. Um, I'm going to be the Muslim. You be uh, Abdul. I know you'll be Al Fadi, the Christian. And you start asking me about Mecca. Go ahead. So, um, uh, Abdul J. <laughs> Tell me about Mecca. I mean, uh, why is Mecca so prominent? Ah, oh, because it's the big birthplace of Islam. It's the birthplace of humanity where it's Adam and Eve were there. Oh, so it existed since the days of Adam and Eve. Absolutely. So um, I take it then there are archaeological discoveries that support that. Wait a minute. I want you to talk about the water now. Well, we're going to get to the water. Oh, you want to get to the... Okay, so let's just go ahead and do that, yeah. all right? Yeah. So, archaeologically speaking, listen, just go to Mecca yourself. You'll see it. But the traditions are very clear that Adam and Eve, the Quran is very clear in chapter 7, verse 24. I don't doubt it because I submit to it. Yeah, I, I, just to let you know, I did do my homework and I cannot find anything at least to back this claim about Adam and Eve and even later, Abraham. So why was it a such an important uh, city, basically, beside its religious center of trade, north, south, east? Remember what Montgomery Walk said? Montgomery Walk had supported that. It was a center of trade. That's why Mecca was important. That's why Muhammad was important. So what you're trader. saying is, if I go to early trade maps, I'm going to see Mecca also? Don't go to the maps. No one had maps that early. Maps don't even come there to are. existence until the Europeans brought them in I, in the 15th I did century. I do my homework on that too. And we have early maps that do not show Mecca, but it does show Yathrib, by the way. It does show Petra. It does show others, uh, you know, uh, Aden, but it does not show Mecca. Uh, and, just, the reason why you know. is, and the reason why is because they people back at those times didn't use the day of Mecca. They used the raid Makoraba. Makoraba is well known on all these maps. I would encourage you to do a study on that as well. But let's talk about now, if it is really that important and it's a trade center, that means there were civilization. And I want you to tell me, how was this civilization sustained water-wise? What do you mean water-wise? We have the Zamzam well there. Listen, there's been all kinds of water there. You can see springs today. Go and see. There are olive trees in Mecca. There are all kinds of fertilization. Have, have there's vegetation seen, all over Mecca. Have you seen a picture of the Zamzam well? 
well, yes, I've seen pipes going into it, and pipes coming out uh, of it. Before Zumza the pipes. Well. Listen, listen, listen. Before Don't the pipes. Me now. Before Take the pipes. Look at, look at, at the Zumza well. You can get it in your own town. They're all over the world. You can get Zumza well water, yeah, and can, this yes, is a yes. flavored water. When even. pipes are feeding it, absolutely. You can get it everywhere. But before the pipes were added, you know, let's say the time of Muhammad, do you think really Zamzam supported like the entire town of Mecca? God provided water in the well. That's why the pipes have to pump it out. There's so much of it because God has provided it from the time of Emormo, from the time of Adam and Eve. Can you prove it to me? Uh, prove what? Sorry. That that's the case. I just told you. Look at the pipes. No, no, no. I, need, the I need evidence to support this. I just sent you. Look at the pictures. They're right there. Writing, archaeology, discoveries, anything besides just what you just told me. Listen, there's no archaeology of that. I'm not going to prove that to you. I don't have yeah. to prove it. The, the traditions say very clearly that there is water there. If there was water there then, that then there's water there now, then I know that there's water there from the time of Adam and Eve. Then let me ask you a question. If that's the case, if it God provided and it was such a wealth of water in this case, why do you need the pipes coming from Jeddah? Because there's so many people that need it now. There's billions of ah, people. Almost so, two billion people need this water. So Allah didn't calculate that into his equation. Well, it's still there. It's, it's been provided by Allah yeah. through Bechtel. Yeah. Amen. Narrated by Bechtel. <laughs> now, all of this could have been sh shut down very clearly very by, by just saying, show me some water. There's no water. If there's no water, there's no civilization. Yeah. It's as easy as that. Just keep coming back to the water ca category. The water shuts down every argument because everybody needs water. Camels need water. Civilizations, towns, peoples, they all need water. Look at the pictures. Take a look. This is desert. Has always been desert. Where there's desert, there's no water. And that's why I wanted to, uh, to say also, I mean, if it was indeed a, as I grew up believing, it's a commerce center, with all the caravans going north or caravans coming south, I mean, it's almost like you're having a large civilization on a daily basis and you need water to sustain them. In fact, they would go there probably to rest for a couple of days and they would expect to have all of their needs, uh, food, water, everything else. But there's no water. But there is no water indeed. What are we going to talk about next time? We're going to talk about these civilizations. Since we're talking about civilizations, let's ask the civilizations, have they heard of this place? Mecca. Thank you. You've heard a man. Until next time, have a blessed day. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel Sierra International and click on the bell so that you receive notifications whenever we publish a new video or go live. I would also like to appeal to you to consider becoming a Patreon patron by clicking the link right below. By doing so, you can give towards the production of these videos. There are also other options for you where you can give to our channel. I thank you from the bottom of my heart.